It's What's going on, arcade nerds? This is, uh, this is your I'm so this inside is a Back to the this Future the car at the so Midwest Gaming Classic. And I want, you know, I'm, I, listen, this is actually a really cool thing for me. This is awesome. My, uh, my absolute favorite movie. And here is a replica of the car that was in the movie. So uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, move the camera around. I'm going to show you all the stuff this guy did. And, and maybe I'll, I'll interview this guy a little bit and show you, you know, some Back to the Future info and so on and whatever. So here, I'm going to look around. I'm going to show you this. Here is the, uh, the thing. Read out. It would have been cool if you would have made a glitchy. <laughs> Here's a little keypad. Look at this. Very cool. Very cool. Look at all these gate, these amp, these switches. They are different epoxy and made them. But after 30 years. Now the flux capacitor is uh, fluxing. <laughs> it's an old, uh, you know. I recognize this part right off the bat. That is a quantum Bigfoot hard drive. Just the props to make it look like, you know. Here's some kind of lights and stuff going on right there. Okay, I'm looking up. Right here is this gull wing door. There's my buddy Rob Burke. In the Trendster. And here's the gauge. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, oh, here comes the music. Are they allowed to sit in the car? <laughs> okay, uh, well, check out the rest of this video. You're going to see all kinds of stuff with the show. All right. Okay, I'm here with Matt Hissom. This is the man that owns and built this Back to the Future replica car. Um, what kind of uh, things can you tell us about this? What, what are some interesting build projects or, or whatever? What, what, I got to hear something from you. <laughs> okay, well, the, the, the goal at first was to make it so that I could reverse it back to the stock car and not harm the car. Drill holes through the car to mount all the stuff because I believe the value and the history of the car company and the car itself is more important than the, the movie. But okay, sure. the movie made it iconic and, and, Absolutely. and, and you know, eternal. So I wanted to... You know, have fun with that. I couldn't. I couldn't help it. I had to do that too. So I, I balanced that out between both worlds and did went pretty far with that. And there's a lot of happy people on both sides. I didn't ruin the car, but I didn't. Uh, sure, sure. You know, skimp on the uh, details of the time machine as much as I could. Very cool. I, 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 do you have any odd stories about where you found some of these parts or anything? Or, um, or can, you, can you can you give me some examples of some odd things you might have found? Oh, well, throughout <laughs> growing up, I mean, I always dream of saving parts hoping that we'll put it on a DeLorean someday. Really? So yeah, I, this, I was like, this is going to go on my doing. The first part I got was this, uh, this heat sink. It's just a piece of stainless. Yeah, yeah. Pushed out, but at work, yeah, I would throw on sheets of this out and I saw that and I knew what size that should be. So I actually had this piece before I got the car and it was just going to do nothing except go on the car. So I have a friend and coworker that worked on the restoration of the movie car. Okay. So he gave me specs of the shapes and sizes of all the parts, and I, and I knew what the size of this was. And so I counted the slots in it, cut out a notch yeah, yeah. in there. There's two layers to it, so I already had it ready to go. Very cool. So that was the first thing, and everything else uh, I either had to make from scratch, or I knew that stuff like these would go in places that Absolutely. represented the. The, the identical parts yeah the like I was saying earlier I was recognizing some fun little things like these like, like those are the heads off of VCR yeah. sure sure absolutely and, and a few things over there but uh, most of it really I had to fabricate and so, so so did you sit there with like a measuring tape and like measure the screen and try to make it the correct proportion um, and I didn't really need to because he really? gave me photos where oh, they very did that cool. on the original car they, very cool they, they did this and they have take two pictures of oh, the tape God, measure get on out. each line. So I was like, okay, that's all I need to know. They did it for me. <laughs> Very cool. Got that done. And <laughs> same for the Mr. Fusion. And But he, he said you really need to have the car to work with first. You can't just go make parts of and, course. and expect yeah. it to also fit in the car. Yeah, yeah. So like the panel that all these parts are mounted on are on this aluminum plate. And yeah, yeah. That holds the parts. And then everything, the plates bolt into the car through existing bolt brackets. So I didn't have to drill even on the inside of the car. To, to mount all that, and I can even open this up. Then, Very cool. And I did have to rebuild the engine this last winter, so 
so I can keep driving it. So you can see like this bracket here is bolts the original hole there. I see. And uh, same on this side and uh, not much else going through here except um, it opens up just like the stock uh, hood would do. I see. And this, there's uh, <laughs> fans up here that help suck the engine the heat, heat out. The heat. Oh wow, I see. That really helps. I see. I can actually there. see it right there. Hello. Okay. Yeah, it does, it really does help. And, um, so that's cool. So if this was running on a, on a hot day, you could actually feel heat coming out of these oh, things. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it in the sunlight shadow. Uh, oh really? On a cool day, the shadow of the ground will show the hot air, you know, steaming out of it. Very cool. It, and it does help with heat dissipation. Now, now, earlier you were telling me about this thing right here. What's, right. what's the whole story with this part right there? Well, it's called a, uh, the terminology for the purpose of that is called a wormhole emitter. Okay. It's the wormhole bubble around the car along with the flux bands, but there's, there's it's very mysterious of what it really came from and they all shop, the, the movie guy shopped uh, in a, in a Air Plus surplus junkyard in California and just found random stuff that fit their concept drawings. So they just thought, okay, that will work for this part of the car here. But they didn't know where all these parts were coming from originally. So there's a lot of uh, reverse engineering research that really ultimately they couldn't determine what that was, but they made copies of it. They took measurements of it, so I was able to take the, sure. so take the measurements and make that to scale. Very cool, very cool. And this <clears> was even funnier. Um, I made that screen match. There was something else there. It really was, there was hardly any reference to what that was. and. My friend who found out what that was, going through all the archives of the photos, they said they found the word pioneer right on the corner of it. And oh, really? And found out that that was just a speaker center piece to a round speaker housing of a stereo system. No joke. So, but though now those things are in demand. Yeah, <laughs> but, I bet. <laughs> so I said, well, it's going to be outside all the time. I mean, I'm going to drive it, so I'm just going to put something that resembles that. I'm yeah, not yeah, gonna yeah. Hunt that down. And, oh, uh, very cool. Well, I'm gonna do like a walk around sure. and I wanna show these guys with the car. Oh, I see that, I didn't notice that. Okay, an old uh, AT computer power supply is sitting there. Yep. <laughs> I, had a, cool. I had a hard time deciding what I should put on the back wall. So I wanted to enjoy oh, all wow. the stuff Oh wow, absolutely, I have. look at that. And I thought, well, I need to use that's a, heat uh, Right sinks. there, that's a heat sink for a laser, I believe, right? Well, well, is, well you can also use that for a CPU, right? Yeah, this is more of a CPU fan. I heat see. sink, but you, which goes on the inside of the power supply, but I, I want to put it on the outside just for the front of it. Yeah, yeah. And I had a bunch of capacitors here. These little uh, uh, aluminum blocks with all the plugs coming out of it, I have like a bunch of these around the car. Oh, I yeah. made those in machine tool class. This is a school cool. project. And I'm like, oh, I need to make a bunch of these. They're just so cool. And now I actually get to use them yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, <laughs> for all this. This is to scale. Their lighting pattern is not accurate. It's just a Christmas yeah, yeah. lights, but sure, it sure. uh, does a real good job. And um, plus capacitor, I made all that too. It's well, uh, I'm going to shake you with my shake your hand with my left hand. I really right. appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks for showing me You're the car. Welcome. Take a look around and right, we'll do. So this would be like the future one, right? I mean, yeah, part two. Because it has the uh, that um, plate. Yes, thank you. The license plate and the Mr. Fusion. I think the other one said out of time or something. Yeah, just out of time and the plutonium chamber. And then part three, just yeah, I had the white wall tires in that box that was on the. That's plate. right. Oh, that would have been cool too. Yeah, yeah, that's a little different. I kind of want to stay in part two. <laughs> I, I understand. It's, you know, I was reading something interesting about about the Back to the Future uh, car in Part Three. Yeah. That when they were pulling it with horses, yeah. that they put a piece of wood across the uh, fenders. Okay. Uh, yeah, because they wanted the hood to stick up a little bit, so because their feet were more comfortable. Oh. And so they put a, a two by four across oh, okay. the front fenders where the hood closes down. Yeah. And the, there's one guy who owns a, a real prop car, yeah. and or, and it has the dents where they put it. The, oh. Where they where they showed the picture, yeah. you know, it actually yeah. has the dents where the wood was. Yeah, that's interesting. Very cool. Very cool. Well, thanks again. Yeah, <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Second shake hand. Yeah, All right. For sure. All right.